Hi, Janelle here with Scrapbook Maven. I have another project to share with you today. This is a different one. This is an actual tag album, my first tag album. And it's using the Graphic 45 Staples Square tags, as well as um, their Celebrate tags. It comes in a package like this. And it has ones that say Celebrate, Party, and Cheers. So they're all in here. So I use the Celebrate one for the cover and then the, re the regular square tags for the rest of the pages. And um, I used botanical tea papers, some sweet sentiments, and then I used some gilded lily tags and pockets as well as some precious memories tags and pockets and chipboard. So I mixed a bunch of different collections. I think they work really well together um, depending on how you put it together. And it's a great way to use up bits and pieces that you have left over from different projects. And this is a spring inspired or Easter inspired project. I made this for my daughter. And um, so we're celebrating spring or celebrating Easter. So all our Easter pictures or some of the Easter pictures that I took, um, I've already put in the album. So this is the first album I've shared with the photos actually in it. And um, I did make it for my daughter. So there's a lot of pictures of her in it. I use a lot of Prima flowers in this album as well and May Arts ribbon. So lots of really pretty embellishments, very girly and um, I really like it and Brianna, my daughter, is very happy with it. So to start I did use Botanical Tea on the cover. Um, I cut out some of these hummingbirds and, and then layered them in with the Prima flowers and I did use some gesso to tone down this flower as well as tone down some of the hummingbird, the dark parts of the hummingbird. And then I also used some of these um, Prima doily trim. I think it's Plumeria. Uh, that's right behind there. And so for the first page here, um, this tag, this cutout is from the Sweet Sentiments paper, I believe. Let me think. Yes. And I made it as a pocket, so inside is one of the tags from Gilded Lily Pockets and Tags. And then did some layering here and with a Prima flower, and there's um, my daughter and my mom and mother-in-law. So that's the first page. And then the second page here is using some more uh, botanical tea paper in the background. Another Gilded Lily, um, I think this is a pocket that I've didn't fold. I kept it flat so it could frame the photo. This is a Precious Memories journaling chipboard here. That was really cute with the little boy with the rabbit, very Eastery. And my son and my mom here in the picture. And then on the side here I have just layered up some of the Prima flowers that I was talking about with some fun blue ribbon from May Arts. And then we flip it over here to this next page and this gorgeous, very silk-like ribbon it opens up here. This is botanical tea paper as well. And it opens up here to get all three of my boys in the one spread here. They're all going crazy trying to find the egg because there's a golden egg somewhere in the backyard and they, of course they want to be the one to find the golden egg. So it just ties up again like this. Oops, I'll fix that later. And then of course my daughter found the golden egg and so I've deleted up some flowers, did some little banners here. This is a precious uh, memories tag from their pockets and tags layered with some of that plumeria prima trim that I talked about. And then I always get confused how this goes. Let's see. And uh, nope. And then we flip it over here. And then this page here is um, this is a cutout from the Sweet Sentiments paper. Layer up with some more Prima flowers. And then this next page here, more Sweet Sentiments um, Easter little stamps with another Precious Memories, uh, I think this is a pocket that I laid flat again. 
and then a cutout from the Sweet Sentiments paper, I believe, with some more Prima flowers. And then that is the end of my album. So I may add some more picture uh, tags to this album because I do have a few more photos that I kind of wanted to get in there. But um, I really had fun making this and my daughter really liked it. And uh, this was for her and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And don't forget to mix up those collections because they do work really nicely together. Especially if you just add a little gesso to tone down some of the colors so they kind of blend a little bit more. And uh, you can really get uh, your scraps um, used up and make some more projects with them. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.